What is real-time analytics? We are now living in a world where real-time data is becoming more and more important. What companies have realized is actually data has a shelf life. And the sooner we can use this data and turn this into insights, the more it can be useful for our companies. So real-time data is about using and analyzing this data as soon as it becomes available. The benefits of real-time data analysis means that we can make faster and better business decisions. We can also create more intelligent and smarter products and services. Things like recommendation engines and customizing our services. And we can improve and automate our business processes. So let's look at some examples here. Real-time data analytics is already used by banks to detect potential fraud. So they will monitor how we're using our cards, the purchases we are usually making, the geographic locations, when we're making our purchases. And if something doesn't look quite right, the artificial intelligence algorithms will automatically detect that this is potential fraud and they can add another layer of security checks into this. Websites and apps are now using real-time data. So their apps might monitor to see where you are at this point and they can identify these micro moments where they realize, okay, you are at an airport, maybe this is the time to serve you with an ad for travel insurance. So more and more of these micro moments are enabled by analyzing what we do on the internet, what we are searching for, what apps we're using, when we're using them to produce better services. Real-time data also enables automation. Things like self-driving cars or self-flying planes and ships that can autonomously cross the oceans wouldn't be possible without real-time analytics. So these systems use camera data, sensor data, LiDAR data that is continuously evaluated and streamed and processed on the spot. And without real-time analytics, it would simply be impossible. In order to use real-time analytics, companies need to have automated data feeds. And so much data is now available from anywhere. You can stream satellite data, web data, social media data, but we need to make sure we are feeding this data real time into our systems. And then we have the infrastructure in place to process it real time. So we need data feeds and systems in order to use real time and analytics. The good news is that a lot of this is now available as a service. So even small and medium sized companies that think maybe we don't have the infrastructure in place to connect our systems to weather data and use it to analyze and predict customer behaviors. You can now go to companies like IBM and Microsoft and Amazon that will offer you real-time analytics capabilities. You simply rent a bit of server space. They might already have automated data feeds from weather services and satellite data and so on available and you simply subscribe to it and start using it. As our world becomes more data-driven, streaming data and real-time analytics becomes increasingly important for businesses. If you want to learn any more about this, check out my channel, subscribe to this channel for many more case studies and examples, or head to my website at bernardmar.com where you can find literally hundreds of articles and videos on the topic. <laughs>